Now let's go through question six. Give thanks. Warm Hearts and Think Kind are two local charity organizations. Donation to Warm Hearts are uniformly distributed on the interval from $20 to $80 with a mean of $50 and a standard deviation of $17.32. Donations to Think Kind are normally distributed with a mean of $36 and a standard deviation of $8. Ashra processes the donations for both charity organizations. To make the boring job more fun, she guesses which charity the donation is for based on the donation amount. Her hypotheses are the null, the donation is for warm hearts, versus the alternative, the donation is for think kind. Her decision rule is if the donation amount is $40 or less, she concludes that it is for the think kind organization. If the donation amount is higher than $40, then she concludes that it is for the Warm Hearts organization. Part A says, for this situation, find the significance level of Ashra's test. We know since we're looking for the significance level, we're looking for the value of alpha, which is also equal to the probability of a type 1 error. we think about what a type 1 error represents, we remember that a type 1 error occurs when our decision is to reject the null hypothesis when the null is actually true. So our decision is to reject, but the truth of the problem is the null hypothesis. So if we look back to what's given, we know that the null hypothesis is that it is from the Warm Hearts organization. So in order to find the significance level, we must use this uniform distribution given, us, given to us at the top of the page. So let's draw that out. So we know a uniform distribution is simply going to be a rectangle. They tell us the interval is from 20 to 80. So our minimum point will be 20, our maximum will be 80, and if we think about the height of this distribution, it's simply 1 divided by the length of our base. Here the length of our base is 60 units, or $60, so our height would be 1 divided by 60. Now in order to find the significance level, we have to find when we would mistakenly reject H0, as that is the decision that we're supposed to make. We know from the problem background that we reject H0 and conclude that is for the think kind organization when it is $40 or less. So if we kind of add where 40 should be approximately on this graph, we want to know the probability that it is $40 or less. So we're trying to calculate the probability of this area right here. For a uniform distribution, the probability is simply equal to the area of that rectangle. So all we have to do is Find the, to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 40, we have base times height. We know our base is $20. We know our height is 1 over 60. If we do that math, we get a value of 1 third, or 0 0.3333. And that is our final answer that we can put right here. So we have the significance level for our test. Part B says for this situation, find the power of Ashra's test. So now if we think about the power, the power is equal to the probability of correctly rejecting H0. So in this situation, our decision, once again, is to reject H0. But now, we're making the right decision, and we're saying the truth is the alternative hypothesis. So instead of using the null distribution, as we did in part A, we now must use the alternative distribution, which is the distribution for think kind. We know the distribution is normally distributed with a mean of 36 and a standard deviation of 8. So let's draw that out. So normal distribution, we've got our bell curve. 
we know that 36 is going to be in the middle. And our standard deviation of 8. If we just kind of imply the or apply the empirical rule here, and we go out three standard deviations to both tails, we should have values of about 12 and 50. So we have our distribution here. Now we need to find when we would reject H0. And again, we reject H0 with a value of $40 or less. So if we add $40 to our graph, we know we want the shaded area to the left, $40 or less. So now from here we have to find this probability. When we're dealing with normal distributions, we know we can calculate our z-value or z-score. So here we would have our z-value is x minus the mean over the standard deviation. Here our x-value, our value of interest, the observation is 40. The mean of that distribution is 36, and the standard deviation is 8. If we do that math, we get a nice value of 0 0.5, 1 half. So the next step is to head to our formula card so that we can find the probability that z is less than or equal to 0 0.5. When we look at the formula card here, we first start with 0 0.5. We know we don't have any additional decimals to add on to that, so we're going to be sticking with the first column. We find where those two values meet, and we get our probability of 0 0.6915. We think about if we have to take the complement of that or just leave the value as is, and we remember that the z table is the area to the left of z, and that's exactly what we're looking for in this specific problem. So that value of 0. 6915 is the value of interest. We don't have to take the complement, and that is the power of our test. Okay, finally, moving on to question C. Bob just donated $30. For this observed donation amount, find the corresponding p-value. So in this situation, if we think about what we're trying to calculate, we are trying to calculate the p-value, and if we remember that interpretation, we have the probability of getting what we observed, or something more extreme, assuming that H0 is true. So remember, when we calculate the p-value, one of our assumptions is that the null hypothesis is the true distribution. So because that is the case with the p-value, we must use the distribution for warm hearts, even though our donation is $30, which would lead us to reject H0. But we have to use that null distribution simply because of what we're trying to calculate in this problem, the p-value. So just as in problem A, we draw out that distribution for the null hypothesis. Again, it's uniform from 20 to 80. We know we have 1 over 60 as our height, as we calculated in part A. And now Bob has a donation amount of $30. To find the p-value, we want to find this or something more extreme. And again, that's in the direction of the alternative hypothesis. Well, our decision here was to reject if we're looking at a donation of $40 or less. So the less is going to be the distribution that we use for that p-value. And again, calculating that probability is just equal to base times height for a uniform distribution. We have a base of 10, our height of 1 over 60, and we get our final p-value amount of 0 0.1667. So again, for that last problem, even though $30 is less than 40 and lead us to reject because we're calculating the p-value, we must assume that the null hypothesis is true and go ahead and use that distribution for warm hearts.